Hi, this is Heather from Party Masters, and I'm trying not to laugh because my cat, Holly, has decided she would like to be in the cat video. So, <laughs> what do you think, Holly? We make a balloon cat? Okay, so you want to fill a balloon, and you want to have at least a six-inch tail, okay? You are going to make a two-inch chamber and then do the same thing again, another two inch chamber. Put them together, nice and tight, okay. And feed that through, the nozzle through. Now what you wanna do is about two more two inch chambers. This is going to be for the cat's ears. Work that down onto the other side. And then we're going to take this nozzle and let's twist it with this balloon. It's easier for me to show you in a moment what I'm doing than to try to explain it. What I have done is I have taken the nozzle and the end of the balloon, and I have got them to meet in the center, which is putting that balloon underneath his face there, okay? So now, you wanna do a small balloon, small, I'm sorry, a small bubble there. That's gonna be for the neck, okay? You can even kind of stick it up in there a little bit. And then we're gonna go on and make a pretty normal body, two inch chamber, a half an inch ball, half inch ball again. My cat would like that moved out of the way. Okay, and then we're gonna twist those together. Now you wanna do a back, roughly three or four inches, I would say. Two more legs. Now you're gonna make these a tad longer than you did the front ones because the front ones have the chamber and the ball. The back ones are only just going to have the chamber. So add that little bit of space onto the end of that. Now we wanna do another one inch ball, a nice soft ball. That is going to be our pinch twist that helps hold everything together. I would roll that up. Now, I'm left with a little on the end. I would just kinda push that up to the end and form this tail however you want to form it. You can have it like this. You can push it back that way. If you really don't want it to be this long, you could always snip off a little bit of the end. It's really up to you what you would like to do with it. I usually like to do kind of a, a kinky tail on the end of them. That's one of my favorite things to do, but it is absolutely up to you 100% what you do. And then we're gonna take this and do a face. Now, if I look at that, this, side for whatever reason looks larger to me so that's the side I'm going to use for the face and I'm just going to give it a couple crescent eyes for a cute little smile you could do like a little heart for a, a nose that would be super cute and then a little bit of a smile if you'd like to do a little tongue that's cute too and some whiskers. And then you would have a cat. So you do that face however you like to, but um, I think that's kind of cute. So hope you like those and we will see you in the next video. Thanks, bye. <laughs>